Rain! Lloyd! I'm glad you're all safe. Yeah. You too. But... Another new Zauber sold out. It looks like an improved version of the Asmodine model. And it's not alone. Yulia. Welcome, one and all. I do hope you are enjoying our final performance. I'd hate for anyone in my audience to leave a show disappointed. So that's the famous Ilya Plotier. She doesn't seem like she's willing to step aside. We were so close to returning her to normal at the temple. Huh. She's a real force of nature, with or without the mask, huh? All the masks do is define how a person may act. It doesn't change their fundamental nature. That does seem to be the case. All this time, I couldn't understand how you ended up like this. The Ilya we know worked earnestly to deliver the best performance possible for everyone who came to watch her. It just didn't make sense that she would accept a mask that distorted that part of her. The old Ilya wouldn't have, at least. Wait. What do you mean? <laughs> I think I see what Lloyd is saying. Your injuries were so dire that they said you would never take the stage again. And yet you didn't let that stop you. Your determination and strength were a true source of encouragement to us all during the Imperial occupation. You knew that. And that's when you felt like you had to keep that strength up. Like you had to keep going for all our sakes. <laughs> You're exactly right. The sun that shined for Crossbell needed to rise and rise again. Before I knew it, the idea consumed me, eating away at the passion I once felt deeply for my craft. It was no longer a simple wish to return to the stage. I had to. For in the eyes of the masses, the show must go on. It all makes sense now. She made exactly the same mistake that we did. Our sun princess is as human as we are. If anything, her reputation made it too easy to buckle under pressure. Maybe the supreme leader we serve now isn't the one who ruled over us before. But he was still just as able to take advantage of the weakness in all of our hearts to occupy Crossbell. A pretender's yearning to become real can sometimes be enough to let them surpass the object of their aspiration. Now, give me the performance of a lifetime. Prove to me that you are no longer lost by overcoming none other than the Duskin Dancer. Do just that. Tio, Emma, begin. Connecting your Arcus II with the spirit veins. Aeon system activate. Relaying footage to all the screens in the city. Huh? Isn't the Supreme Leader supposed to be on? Why did it? <sighs> Isn't this... Wait... It's them! The real! Like, what is 
she talking about? Wait, huh? How could I have forgotten? Yeah, that was the real pride of Crossbell all along. W what's happening? What in the world? against my influence we inspired them with this power and they in turn have wielded it to inspire us this power you gave me that i nurtured with our closest friends matters more to me than you could ever know so now it's my turn to wield it to surpass you if only to bring you back to me then wield it well what's going on here it looks pretty crazy. What an apt distraction they make. We're not going to help them? We all have our roles to play in this. Lord Rufus! Great timing, Gus! I leave that in your hands. Good luck. Excuse me? We'll give him a hand. Good luck, everyone. Hey, guys! And there they go. The hell? He really ditched us. I cannot believe him. <laughs> okay, but this is totally something he'd do. Guess Claire and Lecter are going along for the ride. I would say this is a fair division of labor. <sighs> That's not the problem. Oh, whatever. We can worry about them later. Yeah, we need to take care of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Risha. Show me what you can do! Let's see if the light of the Moon Princess can banish the dusk! It's time we did our part! While Risha's suppressing Ilya's power, we should be able to come out on top! We're right here with you. Let's do this! Mission complete. How's Risha doing? <sighs> Ilya! <laughs> oh, how you've grown, Risha. But this isn't over yet. She's making for the tower. After her. Right. <laughs> I suspected you would be the first to reach me. Oh, finally. We've been waiting for this. So that's Rufus's replica. He really is the spitting image of him. Yeah. The likeness is even more striking than it was with the Emperor. I extend a most warm welcome to you, my other self. Though you are more a fraud than an equal. <laughs> Funny coming from you, my friend. A pity that you, like the almighty conflagration's simulacrum, seem to be unaware of your nature. Oh, I am aware that my life is artificial. But the true Rufus Alvarea must always be the embodiment of perfection. Your name, and all it evoked, was forfeit the moment of your humiliating defeat during the Great Twilight. 
And that was enough to convince those in the Ebon Defense Force to follow your lead? Hmm. <laughs> what a farce this is. I don't disagree. We are simply dramatizing a scenario written and realized for us by Elysium. And, keeping with that, calls for me to make you a certain proposal. Oh? It's quite simple. Might I tempt you to inherit the role I've created? You would become the true supreme leader of the United Nation of Crossbell. What? Have you lost your mind? Why would you extend that offer to someone you just called a fraud? Poor guy's system is bugged. Elysium cares not which of us takes on this role. It never has. Leave aside that. He is real and I am his replica, and we are identical in every possible way. If the world has no need for two of us, if one is to remain, the other should disappear. You, as the original, have the right to decide our respective fates. <laughs> well now, how very gracious of you. But I'm afraid that I will not be won over by your nonsense. Do you really think that I would find joy in serving as an AI's puppet? I do. Because to Rufus Alberea, this is a chance like no other. What? Uniting Zemuria is something that no one before us has been able to achieve. You doing so would mean that you could have a reason for being. That you are more than your father, who failed to create a new world on the other side of the war, ever was. Why would you deny your goal when it is finally within reach? <sighs> His Excellency. <sighs> if you wish to assert that you are too proud to serve Elysium, then spare me. You will use anything and everything to advance your interests, be it your house, your brother, or even yourself. That is simply who you've always been. Should you desire to take on this role, you may have it. I will exit the stage with grace. The unification of the continent is a monumental goal only Rufus Alborea can achieve. All that remains is deciding which Rufus Alborea will achieve it. For you are me, and I am you. <sighs> Rufus! I don't know. I can't answer that when I'm still learning about what it means to be human. All I can say is, I don't see if you're good or bad, where you're from, or how you were raised. I don't see what you've done or haven't done, what you possess or what you lack, because none of those are what make you exist as a person. So it can't be that you suddenly don't exist just because someone decides to reject those parts of you. Just to me? Being is what makes a human a human, and so, it's what makes you, you. I trust that you have your answer. Of course, there was only ever one to give. Indeed, there was. I am me, and I am not you. You have been frozen in time before the Imperial Fortresses fall, but I am here in the present. What? I moved past my obsession with overcoming my father long ago. I now know him as he was. A man who loved deeply and achieved what he set out to do. If you know him any other way, then you haven't the right to call yourself perfection. Be gone, imposter. Abominable specter of my past crimes. You are not needed in Crossbell's new future, nor in the Zemuria of tomorrow. My patience for your delusional view of my father's potential, so brazenly articulated using my face, wears thin. <sighs> I'm so proud of you, Rufus. <laughs> I couldn't agree with him more. I say it's time we wrapped up this homework that old goat left us. This will be our final assignment as Ironbloods, as his children, walking toward our own futures. Though it's a shame Milliam and Prince Cedric could not complete it here with us. I believe it falls more to us as the oldest members anyway. Don't forget about us too! 
Much as it makes me uncomfortable fighting someone with my employer's face. Oh, it's his face that will make this much more enjoyable for me. How regrettable that you would turn your back on the chance of a lifetime. I see you are no longer fit to have our name. So be it. I shall be the original from here on. I will unite all of Zemuria and lead its people into a new age. Ugh! Impossible. I am the embodiment of perfection. How could I lose? You have your reason right there. My past self could never conceive defeat, and so he could never truly win. Perfection is a truly fragile thing. Let's finish the job before... Well, this does look like fun. Ilya Plotier. What happened to the battle in the administrative district? Arius! Rufus! <laughs> I am relieved to see that you overcame your little trial. Oh, I want to deck him. Rumble later. Right now, we need to focus. Looks like the final curtain's about to rise on this battle, too. I assume Hasmodine was defeated. Your spirits are high. Why, pray tell? This is the finale of a performance like no other. It would be a waste, and outright rude to our audience, to not enjoy it. So I expect you to stand tall on your stage to the very end. <laughs> that must be what it means to be real. Very well. Spike and spiritual energy! They've redirected all of the mana that was being fed to the Zalber soul dots back to themselves. So the gloves are off. Show me your strength, Rufus Salbarea. This shall be our final battle! Very well, Rufus Salbarea. Eusis, the rest of you as well. I'll be leaning on your strength for this. And you have it. We'll back you up with all we've got. Let's go, Risha! Let us begin, Ilya. I'll do whatever it takes to break you out of this. Then you'd better not hold back. En avant, one and all, as my dance swells to its crepuscular crescendo! They did it. Yeah, they sure did.
Ilya, are you all right? Risha. <laughs> you did it, huh? You brought me back to you. <laughs> Thank goodness. That mask won't be bothering us anymore. The amount of negative mana in the area is decreasing, too. All's well that ends well, huh? Thank you for saving me, Risha. And you didn't just save me. You helped me remember what matters most to me, too. <laughs> Ilya... <laughs> you sure knocked me down a peg or two, didn't you? I'm more of a lover, not a fighter. But still, maybe it's time I learn a few moves? <laughs> Honestly, all I care about is that you're safe. And she's back to her old antics. It's reassuring in its own way. So, this is what defeat feels like. No matter how meticulously one tries to replicate perfection, copy cannot beat the genuine article, it seems. I wouldn't be so certain about that. You were correct that there is very little difference between us. Had you asked a little sooner, I may well have turned traitor and accepted your offer without a second thought. Uh, Rufus? You aren't supposed to admit it. All that divides us are slight differences in experience. My absolute defeat at the Imperial Fortress, a distinct pain I felt on my cheek only just after, and the brief, unforgettable journey that led me to standing before you. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever truly understand. Pretty out of character for him, huh? Or he's lying through his teeth. I don't know. The road has a way of changing you. Yeah, meeting people and having new experiences is a fast track to growth. Be the journey long or short. Can journeys really do that? I'm so glad we could clean this mess up. <sighs> Finally. Our home is ours again. Yeah. But... <sighs> what is it? What's got you so serious, Forzer? Wait. I gotcha. Rufus. No. Supreme Leader. Before you stop functioning, we need to know a few things. Where is he? And where is the Xerath Knight? We never saw them once during the operation. It's unthinkable that they wouldn't try to counter our efforts to take the city. What's going on? If you think you've won, you are very much mistaken. It's... time. Um, what did he... <clears throat> Easy there, Reen. Are you alright? It feels like... Something is coming. Whoa! An earthquake? No, this is no earthquake. It's coming from the south.
What was that? Juno Naval Fortress has been... Master Sao! So, that's what they were developing behind our backs. What fools we were. None of us thought it would be so strong. That was what they were hiding with this device? So it seems. They cleverly disguised the disappearance of those Gargantua-class airships and railway guns, and dismantled them with Tangram Fortress to create that, the ultimate weapon. A product of a singularity in every sense. Are you kidding? Something like that doesn't belong in this world! The true capabilities of a super-intelligent AI and the birth of a singularity! Oh, I am going to have a field day with this! People of the world, what you just witnessed is the symbol of the United Nation of Crossbell and of Zemuria's eternal peace. Atop this mighty structure is the last weapon we will ever need. It's divine lightning judging all that corrupts us. I call this structure the Retributive Tower. And its presence marks the unification of all Zemuria!